Dry ice, that's an important component to make sure the COVID-19 vaccine stays cold. The medicine requires way below freezing temperatures during shipping and storage. And that means dry ice is in big demand for a local company. Tending your side's Andy Fox is here to show us how it all comes together and who's benefiting from the vaccine. 109 degrees below zero. That's really cold. It's so cold that if you touch it, you get burned. That's part of what dry ice is all about. And now it's really important when we're talking about vaccines. There's a lot of unknowns as to how much ice is going to be required. Mark Weaver is with Robert's Oxygen. Maneuvering as time goes to see adjustments up and down to supply that. Robert's Oxygen is one of the largest dry ice manufacturers in Virginia and on the East Coast. The new dry ice market involves these dry ice pellets packed into vaccine containers used by places like Centera Healthcare, as we saw on Monday. The Pfizer vaccine on dry ice stored in an Arctic blast to 90 to 94 degrees below zero until it is ready to be administered to people like Centera Norfolk General's ER nurse Yolanda Dumas the first in Hampton Roads to receive the COVID vaccine. What's changed is the amount of phone calls. Ben Jesse is the local Roberts Oxygen Operations Manager. Liquid carbon dioxide is stored in the bulk tanks outside the building. The liquid comes in and then is put into the machines and compressed, which is what creates the dry ice. In the early stages of delivering vaccines, Robert's oxygen doesn't know what it doesn't know. Because we have so many unknowns, we're kind of in a bit of a holding pattern. We are poised and ready to be able to supply. The type of calls that are coming in are anybody that's going to be storing the vaccine. So that can be a hospital. It can be um, health departments. This 500 pound container is going somewhere that Robert's Oxygen doesn't want us to know. Very secretive about where the product's going and who's giving them a call. But they know one thing, they're the major manufacturer of dry ice in Portsmouth and in Hampton Roads, and they expect to be getting a lot of business. In Portsmouth, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. And they'll be busy for quite a while. We know many of you have questions about the COVID-19 vaccine. That's why we're on your side with a special report tomorrow night at 7 on Wavy TV and Fox 43. Join our live town hall. The experts will be on hand to take your questions. We'll also stream it on wavy.com.